It all started with a tweet by Adrian Wojnarowski that simply said this. The Atlanta Hawks dismissed coach Nate McMillan, sources tell ESPN. And then they followed up with the, the Hawks are planning a wide range of search, but one candidate expected to be at the top of the list is former Utah Jazz coach Quinn Snyder. Others expected to be in consideration of Bucks assistant coach Charles Lee and Golden State assistant coach Kenny Atkinson. And I told y'all at that time, being an Atlanta sports fan for the last 45 years, I know exactly what they're going to do. They can never go with what they said. They were looking for somebody with a cat that's going to have accountability, get the defense in the top 10, player development, and get the offense in the top 10. And all of that was great, fa fantastic, all the stuff that you would want on a head coach. And we already know what they ended up doing. So here we go. They are, they said, Today, Adrian Wojnarowski says Quinn, Quinn Snyder has reached an agreement on a five-year deal, including the rest of the season. Uh, to become the Atlanta Hawks head coach, Snyder is expected to be on the sidelines as soon as Tuesday in Washington. And we're going to talk about that in one second, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video, comment y'all thoughts down below. Hey, we're a new channel. We're just trying to get into the algorithm. And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all are my family. I love each and every last one of y'all. Let's just get right into it, man. Like I said, so... Me having been an Atlanta Hawks uh, fan or, you know, just for the last 45 years, Atlanta sports fans, we already knew what time it was. We knew that they were going to take the big splash in the pan higher. And if he comes along and brings those things, which is which which is uh, accountability, more defense, player development and uh, all those things. Yes, they would just be happy with it. But. If they could get Quinn Snyder, everybody knows that's the big splash in the pan, the big name hire. That's what we do here in Atlanta. It doesn't, and I'm not saying Quinn Snyder's not an excellent coach because he is. He was a he already has had a stint as an assistant head coach, I mean assistant head coach or assistant coach with the Atlanta Hawks when they went to the Eastern Conference Finals uh, when he was with when Mike uh, Budenholzer was the coach. So I think it was from 2012 to 2014. Y'all don't, don't quote me on that. I think that's what uh, that's what it was. I'm just doing this straight off of memory, but. The thing is, he was also a college coach. We know he was assistant coach at Duke. We know he coached at Missouri. We know he coached, you know, so player development may be one of those things that really is high on this list and he might be able to do it. We also saw some, some talks where Donovan Mitchell, who used to play for Quinn Snyder, he actually said, he used to actually talk to, uh, to Trey Young and said that uh, Quinn Snyder is one of those guys. He's a tough coach. He's going to be on you. He's going to get the best out of you but you're also going to want to run through a wall for this guy so if that's the truth hey i can do nothing but say let's just see what's going on he's gonna have five years to get it done he's gonna have five years to see what he can get out of these guys and uh like i said with the picks and things that we gave up for the john say murray we kind of hamstrung anyway we don't know i mean the trade deadline is over with so it's not going to be any moving parts or anything like that and i don't even know what we can really expect out of this season but i can tell you this if he's going to get the offense into the top 10 and get the defense, they say if they believe that he can get the offense into the top 10 and he's, I really don't even care about the offense. Offense is fine. We need to rein it in on defense. I know they're playing on defense. The effort is there in a lot of cases, but I don't know if it's just, it's just the defensive schemes or if it's just that we just don't have the pieces on defense, but we're going to have to play some better defense if he can get anything out of Trey Young on defense and not saying that he doesn't try but he just doesn't have the size to be as effective on defense as you would like for him to be so if he can get somebody to trade young on defense and uh in the, the whole offensive uh defensive squad and uh we can play better defense hold players accountable and get us in the top 10 in offense and defense listen man i, th I think that's a tall order for anybody but and, and to help develop players you know, it's, it's, hey, it's a win-win. And like we said, I understand why they why they went away from Nate McMillan because, you know, Nate McMillan, he did say, um, I don't know how to, it, was, it actually was quoted as saying somewhere that I, I really don't know how to develop players and win at the same time. You got to kind of do one or the other. So if we got somebody that can do both at the same time, hey, it is what it is. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. I already told y'all that this was going to happen because I've been an Atlanta sports fan for the last 45 years or so, and I just know how we do. We're going to take the big splash higher and just uh, or the big splash name or just whatever we can get the biggest thing you know and and then we just take it from there but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time hey it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk of the people's town Gosh, baby. Gosh.